I'm from Camden, New Jersey. You probably heard of it. Uh, if not, you should Google it. I'm a music major here at the Horn School of Music, and I'm doing a bachelor's program with an emphasis in commercial music. Afterwards, I plan on getting a master's degree in probably performance. Um, I'm going to go back to the East Coast somewhere over there. So, yeah. Honestly, I've always been big on HBCUs, which is a historically black college slash university. Um, and so, like, I want to get that experience in, um, definitely. So that's important to me. And so in high school, those two were like top on my list. And so I'm looking back into those so I can at least get some time there. So, so the summer of my senior year, I was invited here for the Summer Jazz Fest. And that fest was about, I want to say, four days long. And within that fest, it's funny, I did an, inter an interview just like this. Um, but within that, um, I just fell in love within like the first day. And my first day being here, I was like, okay, this you know, I need another day to figure this out. This is like too good to be true. So I stayed the next day and I just learned so much in those first two days. I was like, yeah, this is the spot. So I went back home and this was like three weeks before school started. I was going to school in North Carolina originally. Um, but then I went home and I was like, mom, dad, I'm going to Utah. <laughs> yeah, they weren't too excited about that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm the vice president of the Black Student Union. And so that takes a lot of time. Um, I've been the vice president for three years. I've been here three years. So as soon as I got here, like I was elected as VP. And so um, I've seen a lot, um, I've learned a lot. And so um, it takes a lot of time. So when I'm not doing that, that's what I'm doing. I'm running around for the club, trying to figure out things for us to do, so. Yes. So one thing that is, one good thing about it is that um, I get leadership experience, which I already have a lot of leadership experience. So that's one thing. Um, the second thing is that I get to work with people who are um, very diverse. So not only do we have black students in our club, but we have Caucasian students, we have Latino students, you know, we welcome everyone. We have a student from Germany in our club just because like she wants to learn about the culture. So we're really open. And so there you learn a lot about different people. And um, the third thing is a sense of home and community. Because, you know, I'm 2,000 miles away from home, literally 2,000 miles away from home. So it's nice to have, you know, a family away from family. So that's how I see it. Um, the three disadvantages. One disadvantage, I would say, is that I don't get credit where it's due all the time. Um, I do a lot for the club. Um, in each year, since, like, most people are doing two years, I've been training each new president. And so at the beginning of every year, I end up doing stuff that the president should be doing because I already know the ropes and the new president still know so well. Um, another disadvantage I would say is that um, we're associated with ignorance sometimes because most of the African-American students on campus can come off as ignorant. And so when people hear about our club, they kind of like just brush it to the side. Like, oh, no, I don't want to be a part of that. You know what I mean? Um, the third disadvantage is, uh, it's probably tied to the second, but recruitment. Sometimes it can be difficult for us to recruit because of, you know, these stereotypes. And, um, another thing would be just trying to get the whole community involved. Sometimes they kind of just like, we feel like we get put in a box and that's not like the best thing. We try to open the box and welcome other people in. So yeah, that's like, that's the challenge we're facing right now. So. The best part about living in Ephraim, I would say, would be um, how quiet it is, honestly. Like, for, for a student, it's the best thing ever because there's not too much life, um, there's not too much nightlife, and no nightlife means no distractions, you know. And so, um, living in Ephraim really makes you focus on the tasks at hand and what's most important, and that's being a student, so. My favorite place on campus is this room we are in right now, the percussion studio. As you can see, we have two drum sets in here. We have timpani in here. Um, we have a xylophone. We have a uh, vibraphone in here as well. So um, I'm usually in here late nights, at least till 2 a.m., sometimes 12 if I get lucky. You know, you know, if I'm feeling good, I'll leave at 12. So.
Um, yeah, honestly, like, I live in this room. I've slept in this room. I've ate in this room. I've done homework in this room. So this is, like, my room. I'm here in this room more than I am in my room where I sleep. So, yeah, this is my favorite place. Ew, I miss the food. Food, food, food. Definitely the food. Um, just because I can't find soul food around here. Like, it's Ephraim, you know? And I don't have a car. My car is at home in New Jersey. If I were to bring my car here, it would take like 36 hours. I can't drive 36 <laughs> hours, so yeah. Um, honestly, I would really, I really, really miss the food. Um, it's a lot more diverse. I have more options at home, so. The Black Student Union, our club, for Black History Month, what we do is we put on one event per week in February, and one of those events is like our most popular event, is Soul Food Night. So we serve a meal of soul food and it sells like crazy. People come back for like two, three plates. I would honestly say come out and check it out, you know? That's the best way to decide where you wanna be um, and where you wanna go, is just to come and see for yourself. Um, like I did, I took a chance, you know? It was literally luck. I just came out here on a limb and I just fell in love and then I registered while I was here and that was that. So honestly, the best thing to do is just to come out, check it out, see if you like the vibe, you know? Then make your decision from there. When I came here, I really, of course I had other options to go to different schools, but um, I visited them and then I'm like, okay, this is okay, this is okay. But this one, like Snow College, it really made me feel different than the others, just because the relationships with the teachers and the professors, like it was a lot more intimate than the other schools I had visited and a lot more one-on-one. -on -one, and I feel like that's the best teaching style in order to grow at a rapid pace. So um, I think the ratio student to professor here is like 16 to one. So if you, even if you don't struggle with education, I, f I feel like that's something that everybody needs just because you'll grow quicker. And so that was like one of the main factors in deciding how I got here. And I just, like I mentioned before, I just learned so much in like two days. And I was like, imagine if I was here for a semester. And even in my first semester, I learned so much. I went back home and my old, uh, my old band teacher was like, oh, you know, because I had grew I had grown so much. So, yeah, I just like the intimacy, especially in this program. So. So commercial music is is a very wide term. Commercial music can range from um, anything that you see on commercials to, um, you know, things that the uh, general population listen to, like pop and rock. So um, we have the commercial music ensembles, um, which that was a new thing for me because in New Jersey, there's not too much rock going on. So I learned a little bit of rock, I learned a little bit of country. That was an interesting thing. I'm still learning, still learning. Um, we also just started a hip hop group here. So um, that's developing slowly. That's also part of the commercial music ensembles. Um, here, I mean, you know, you learn jazz, of course, you learn it in big band and small groups because they are two different environments. You have to learn how to play in both. Um, you're, there's also symphonic band and wind symphony, and in those, that's like um, that's concert percussion. So in that case, um, there are a lot more instruments, a lot different techniques. It's uh, very versatile. And then the same thing with orchestra. So orchestra and um, band, they're kind of like in the same world as far as percussion chops go. Um, and honestly. We do pep band too. So pep band, that's a little different. That's more fun for us, but even as a drum line, that's a different world as well. So we learned a lot. So I have a little bit of everything. This program exposes you to everything, so. Nice. I am in um, Union Highway, which is an indie group, a part of the Commercial Music Ensemble series. I am in a jazz combo. I am in big band, which is jazz. I am in uh, let me see, symphonic band, I am in wind symphony, I am in pet band, um, I think I'm missing, I'm missing something, but you, you get the picture, I'm in everything, I'm in everything, you'll see me everywhere, so. <laughs>